Hey, what's going on, world? This is J.R. Richmond. Welcome to the J.R. Richmond show. Hey, what's up, Ja? What's going on, Ra? It feels good to be back, man. I wonder, did our fans miss us? I know it's been a while because, you know, we got some issues going on with YouTube and everything, though. So right now we got everything ironed out. I hope we got everything ironed out. You know, we'll be getting sanctioned. You know how the government likes to sanction right. other countries. We'll be getting sanctioned, you know, we'll be getting suspended and having our shows pulled. You know, you can't really speak the truth or truth that is also in the news for what they put out there. But, you know, you know, we, right now we're back. We're happy. And we hope you guys will love this show that we're about to give you right now. So, no coonery. Just having a good old time. And we hope you guys will listen and learn along the way. Most deaf, man. No doubt. Yeah. So, how do they mean what you do? Yeah, you know, man, just out here doing what I do, man. Grinding, staying ahead, keeping my myself well educated and everything man because it's, it's crazy out here we already know what's happening you know we're in this um beginning of this new year what's that we're going on the third month right well this this is the third month actually it's what's, fresh. What's, hey listen what's y'all new year resolution you believe in that bro new year's resolutions uh nah man you know it's gonna be broken anyway though man i guess it works for different people you know right. what I mean? But, you know, we're you know, we going to break it anyway, though. You got to get rid of that. got to get rid of that, though, man. Hell, you New Year's resolution, though, man. If you can, if you got to wait for, for all year long and you got to go to a new year to find do something, then right. you're just wasting your life. <laughs> yeah, it's just about just taking action, man. Whatever your mind, whatever your mind focus on, just do it. You know what I'm saying? Waste no more time. Basically. Oh no doubt. No doubt though, man. Let's go ahead and get up into this real quick though. Okay. Let's talk about well, the Beyonce fans, rightfully so, I guess, you know. I'm not a real big Beyonce fan for how she treated my baby, Carrie Hilson. But anyway, yeah. back to the matter is with Beyonce fans and everything though, up in arms and everything though, about uh the deuce who hasn't acted, man, said Beyonce Basically, trying to say that she can't come over here on this side to country music, and it sounds like she's uh, like a urinating dog mm. hitting a tree. Wow. You know what I mean? So, one of the things that you said, man, you was talking about her husband, though, man. What do you think about that? Man, that's what I'm trying to figure out, man. Like, this dude, I mean, you going to let this other, you know, this other guy, a male, say something like that about your wife? This is your wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, like... Like when I asked you earlier, did uh did Jay Z have anything? Did he say anything? Uh, did he check the dude? Or, uh, he said what? absolutely nothing. Yeah. And you know him by him saying that, that's like that's kind of a way of him just saying that you know she's a B basically though. You know what I mean? So right. the crazy fact that on they're trying to like gatekeep country music when you know that's part of you know a black armor music that they created from back in the day. You know what I mean? You got to get props to all the pioneers who started country music. And, you know, they're just coming, you know, just coming back to the roots and, you know, just sing along and get along and be happy with stuff they listened to when they was coming up. You know, they try to, you know, they're doing Beyonce Dirty, though, but the fans be going crazy. I uh, guess it's a good song. Some stations are playing it, but for him to come out there and say that about Beyonce and everything, though, and talking about, you know, trying to gatekeep country music and keep – Black artists away, like K. Michelle and stuff like that, and Beyonce. So it's crazy how they trying to keep country music segregated, but at the same time, on the hip hop side, you know, we got to, you know, we get Macklemore, <laughs> Machine, Machine Gun Kelly, Post Malone, Kid Rock, uh, Iggy Azalea, Paul right. Wall. You, know what I mean? you don't see us. You'll see the black community say, ah, oh, we don't want them here. Oh, and, and, and then their hero, the one they call the rap god and everything, though, uh, Mr. Eminem himself. You know, so it seems like, seem like that mayo race is flooding uh, hip hop, huh? All over here, man. Man. All that's over. That's crazy. But that's acceptable, though. But you see how. I think. Well, I was just about to say, I think on my end, you know, just like how the, uh, the country dude. You know, he's standing up and saying whatever, whatever. Like, where are people at, though? 
Like, these folk coming over here on the hip-hop side or whatnot, where's our people? Like, I mean, you've seen the uh, videos and everything. You know, not all of our people, but it's, it's uh, a good handful of them. They up there. Like, when you see a male um, dude or female up there twerking or dancing or even rapping or whatnot, our people cheering it. You know, we, we yeah, yeah, keep going. Yeah, yeah, you know, pumping them up. Yeah, embracing it. Yeah, to see how many, I guess, lights are they doing it for clout. I don't know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, it, it shouldn't be like that, though, man. Just do yeah, like how the country do, however that country do doing, and he's standing up. But I guess for his so-called people, or country music or whatever, I, I believe that our kind, you know, we were the one that started that anyway, country music, whatever you want to, you have, you want to go, you know, leave it up to, uh, what's his name? Little Richard. Yeah, Little Richard. Yeah, <laughs> he, he said they still rock and roll, you feel me? So, hey. Yeah. <laughs> He's a pioneer, Lord Richard. Exactly. You know, like, it, it's not fair. It just seems like to me it's just a lot of, you know, just another confusion that's trying to come in to do this this um, segregation with the races and everything. I mean, how, how long are we going to keep this going? You feel me? <laughs> Instead of being focused on what's really going on. I know, bro. Yeah, it's 2024 now, bro. You still stuck on skin color racism, though. <laughs> it's crazy, you like to be around a certain race, so you stay away from them. Right. Never do anything to you, nothing. But yet, you just hate them because they look different. Not on a personal matter, just because they look different, which is crazy. They look different. You know, so there's so many people coming in on this side, you know what I mean, producers, writers, you know what I'm saying, artists coming over here on the hip-hop side and everything. Right now, I think hip-hop, man, because it's not in the hands of the people who created the music in the first place, man. That's why hip-hop's going down right now. The music is trash. The women right now are coming out even more, I guess you could say, uh, 304s. More and more and more and more. They're degrading them own selves. They're degrading themselves. You can't say the men, you know, they're doing it even more, let's say, disgusting. Ever, yes. ever before. Yeah, it's, huh? right. so, like, it's no balance in it, bro. There's no balance. And these women coming no in, man, they're, they're coming in without <laughs> without any lyrical skills whatsoever. Just how I mean, look at it. Exactly. Because, like, what's up with, like, with Queen Latifah? You know, we, you know, she knew her. She knew her place, though. So she came in, and she was doing music to uplift the women. Who you calling? The, you know that, bro? Like, bro, that was hard. I ain't gonna lie. So Queen yeah. Latifah, <laughs> she did this. Uh, she did that song. Uh, who you calling the bill? Whatever. I mean, put put in the black women or just women period on the map. Then fast forward to two thousand and what? When it started? Two thousand twenty three, twenty four, twenty two. You know, around uh, you know around this um time frame, these women want to be called um whores and 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 thoughts and doing all and and they glory like people glorifying. They love it too. They love it. And it reached down to the little kids and everything. To the little man. kids, bro. Like, <laughs> they asked to sing along to the song. The one girl was on, it was a teacher. She's like a ballerina teacher or whatever. I don't know if you've seen that video. She's upset. She's trying everything, though. You know, because these lyrics, you got to blame your parents, first of all, and everything. You got to blame, it goes right to the moms. Because the moms up there doing it and dancing and clapping and doing all the stuff they hear from, the, from like, Working. sexy rage. It's absolutely disgusting. And, yeah. and, they, and they love it. They up there twerking. You got little girls like six, seven, eight years old twerking, and that's setting them bad image. But now mm -hmm. they seem they're over sexualized, and they all these, and they all these p words out there, and they're looking at it, and they now they looking at these little girls and everything they're doing a certain way. Right. It shouldn't be this way, man. It's sad. I was never like this. It's it's, it's it's terrible now. I blame the parents. So, for especially but, for letting your little ones to uh to act like that, I, I blame the parents, bro. Where the right. where the father at? You know what I'm saying? Where is the fathers? Yeah, where the father, bro? The type of father they got to go along with the woman that went out there in the streets in the first place, though, man. But yeah, it'll be known. Let it be said. The whole thing about Beyonce is crazy. You know, I think there was music. She's a Texas girl. That stuff, music. She you know, I guess allegedly or whatever, she came up with listening to it and everything though. She inspired, she loved it, she just trying to come back home to her so called country roots 
and they're trying to keep it on the outside, though, man, which is crazy, though, man. But like you said earlier, though, man, where's Jay Z at? He ain't got all, he got all his mouth for everybody else, man, <laughs> doing anything else, but he ain't saying nothing about this right here, though, man. So to end it on this, though, what do you think about Jay Z, man? Is he a man or is he a sucker? Man, he a blow pop, bro. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> So, Straight up, man. let us know in the comments, man, what y'all think, though, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, make sure that, hey, you know what? We're going to drop this for YouTube, man. So make sure y'all like and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend about us.